I first discovered Titarangi in the 1980s when I was introduced to Brian Brake and came to this amazing house for afternoon tea, where we sat right here. It was a watershed moment for me because it immediately made me realize how much I love this area and fell in love with this incredibly beautiful house. Years later, I came back to Titarangi and decided to stay. That was nearly 25 years ago. There's no other place in the world that I know of that has this kind of juxtaposition of the native bush and a major city on its doorstep. <laughs> it's like being on holiday in Auckland. Titarangi has a real sense of community and that's hard to find in Auckland. It's like its own little village that's 25 minutes away from the city, but is a world away. We're really lucky to have Te Uru Art Gallery. It's the second biggest public arts institution outside of Auckland City Art Gallery. It's light-filled and beautiful and modern, attracts people from wider Auckland, around New Zealand, and overseas. Design has always fascinated us as a family. I grew up inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright. That's what initiated my interest in property and buildings. Working in real estate in Titarangi is one of the best ways to get to find some of the jewel properties that are here. There are so many interesting houses in this area. It's a privilege to be able to be invited in and shown around and discover something I've not seen before. I still get excited every time I come to a new house, whether it's architect designed or not. I think it's the discovery of the unknown and being delighted by something that I haven't seen before. What I love is the moment where you see someone's eyes light up. They walk into a house and you see it and you know that's the moment. You know, they're the right person for the house. That's lots of fun. That's the magic of working in real estate.